Okay, so in this video I wanted to talk about a common uh, SNS scenario which is described in this article, which is this fanout. Uh, so Amazon Simple Notification Service or SNS, um, this is a service that's here. Um, it's just a publish subscribe messaging service where you have a publisher and you have multiple subscribers. And then this article talks about um, common SNS scenarios where you have um, a publisher on a topic of an SNS topic and you can have multiple SQS queues subscribe to that topic. So I already did a video about how to create SQS queues and these queues can be subscribers on a, a, simple, a single topic. So for instance if you have a topic about um, new orders for an online store you can have one queue um, for order processing and you can have another queue for for instance accounting so I'm just gonna do a quick demo of how to set that up so you can have multiple queues subscribe to the same SNS topic so if we go to our um, SNS dashboard which is here we can create a new topic so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna call this topic new sales and what I could do here, I could do the display name here. If I have an SMS subscription, it'll, it'll display that there. Uh, I'll just leave it out for now. And I'll just create the topic like this. So now that we have the topic, we want to create subscriptions for the topic. So the way that um, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go actually into SQS and create the subscription from there. I found that when I would create a subscription from here, it wouldn't actually send the message properly. So it's better if you go into SQS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my SQS dashboard and I'm going to see here that I've already created uh, the SQS queues from before. I already did a video about how to create them, so I'm just going to go over what I created here. We have an accounting queue, we have the dead letter queue for that queue. We also have this order processing queue and a dead letter queue for that. As you can see, these queues, they're just standard queues. They don't have any messages in them right now. And what I can do is now I can have them subscribe to that SNS topic. So if I can select this guy, I could select this guy, and I could say subscribe to SNS topic. And then what I can do is from this drop down, when I create the topic, when I pick the topic, it'll automatically fill in the ARN, and I could say subscribe. And now it tells me that these two queues are subscribed to that topic. Okay, now that I created the subscription for, with these two queues, I'm going to go back to the SNS dashboard and what I should see is I should see I should see the subscription for my topic so if I go back to my topic which is here so there we go so now I see the two subscriptions of those SQS queues so they are now ready to receive messages just just so to be clear you could have other kinds of other types of subscriptions so for instance, I could have all these, HTTP, HTTPS, email. So there's the SQS. I found that when I tried to create a SQS queue from here, it wouldn't send the message over. So it's better to create it from the SQS dashboard instead of here. You can even have SMS notifications, so it'll just send a text as well. So I'm gonna cancel out of that. And if I go back to my list of topics, and what I'll do now is I'll publish a message. So I'll say uh, new order number six, five, whatever it is. And then we'll just say new order received one widget total order. Let's just give it some value. Okay. And I could also fill in different attributes for the message, but I won't for now. I'll just say publish message. Okay, so now that I published the message, I should see that's that message in the two queues from here. So if I refresh this page, so there we go. I see one message in the order processing queue and one message in the accounting queue. And if I look in order processing, 
if I say view, delete message, and if I start polling, so there's the message. You can see it's a JSON file, and there's all this information in the message, but if you look in the message there, so there's the subject, new order, and then there's the message of the details of that order. So I can process that message and delete it. And, and then I can do the same thing if I go into the accounting queue and I'll view the message there, start polling. Again, it's, I can see the JSON details over here. So there's the subject and then there's the message. I'll close that. I'll delete the message from there. And, and that's it. So now the queues have processed the message and I'm, I could publish more messages on my topic as well right here and then they will keep receiving those messages.